What's going on everybody? How are you guys doing? I'm doing pretty shitty, but hey, why not do a video? Um, today's topic is Joe Rogan, one of the most well-known podcasters here on YouTube and probably in the entire world, I want to say. Uh, might be a bit of a stretch, but I mean, he has a pretty big reach here, at least in the States, so I don't know what the situation is with um, your country, but yeah, JRE, powerful stuff, right? <laughs> Sorry for the meme right there, but um, Essentially what happened is uh, Joe Rogan said some things about games and gamers and well now everyone's mad at him. Is he right? Is he wrong? I don't know but before we get into that video guys if you like the content don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Over 99% of you are not subscribed according to my analytics. So go do that if you would be so awesome. Um, and what else? Um, new videos coming soon-ish. Um, what do I have in the pipeline? An NES video, um, a boxing video, and another type of rant style video that I kind of don't like making, but sometimes I just have so, many, so much pent up rage, I gotta do it. But yeah, going back to JRE, Joe Rogan, whatever. Um, so this is what he said. I'm gonna play the clip for you guys right about now. And video games are a real problem. They're a real problem. You know why? Because they're fucking fun. Addictive. And you don't, yeah, well, I'm, I have a real problem with them. And you, you, you do them, and they're real exciting, but you don't get anywhere. Right. It's like you could do, like, like martial arts, right? You could learn jujitsu. You get obsessed by jujitsu. And then three years later, you're, you're like an elite jujitsu athlete. You're like, you're entering in competitions. You're a purple belt. You're moving up. Yeah, you're doing well. Right. You're thinking, like, I might be able to open my own school one you day. You got confidence. Yeah, if I have 100 students, and those 100 students are paying me X amount of dollars per month, I can make a living. Holy shit, I can have a, this would be amazing. And then you see your jujitsu school, and your jujitsu instructor has all these students, and drives a Mercedes, and he's got a nice family, and like, that's the future. This way, you're doing something exciting and fun. And you don't, or you could just be playing fucking video games. Three years later, you could be that same kid just playing video games, waiting for the next Dix, whatever the fuck game is, you know, next Xbox game to come out, and you're gonna waste your time. All right, so there you go. You heard what uh, what uh, what Joe said, right? And video games are addictive. I I do agree with him on that part. I think some people spend way too much time on video games, including myself, sometimes. Um, if you don't believe me, just look at those internet cafe stories in uh, China or, you know, in the um, in the Asian regions around over there where they have internet cafes. You got, uh, you know, young young adults, kids, you know, dying on their computer screens, <laughs> essentially, you know, no response here, guys. Um, they just don't get up at all. They just game and game and game and boom. Uh, you died because you played too many video games. If that's not an, if that's not an addiction, uh, I don't know, maybe you're stupid, but they are very addictive in nature and they do control a lot of uh, aspects of a lot of people's lives. I think they think that the virtual world is more so real to them than the real world is to them. Uh, maybe they've had some failures in the real world, which is understandable, but uh, living your life in the virtual space always is not a very good idea. This ain't SAO, alright? This ain't no, no Nerf Gear bullshit here, at least not yet, ladies and gentlemen, but... um. He also brings up the point of like, oh yeah, if you're uh, a Jiu-Jitsu pr practitioner, uh, you'll... You'll, you know, a couple years, you'll get, like, a purple belt or whatever, and, um, you know, you'll you'll start seeing, hey, maybe I can open my own dojo or whatever, and get my own students and stuff. Oh, and because my sensei, he drives a Benz, and he's got a hot wife, and he makes a lot of money, he's got a big dojo, blah, blah, blah. Which, um, what do I have to say about that? Um, that works both ways, to be frank with you. I think Joe's very ignorant of the whole situation. Now, um, one thing I will say is gaming is not healthy. Not at all. Um, you're in a uh, stationary position for up to like six hours plus, maybe, right? If that's your typical gaming bid or whatever. You're not moving at all. You're not doing any exercise. But with a martial art like jujitsu or or karate or uh, boxing, at least that, right? Um, you're moving. It's healthy for you. I mean, yeah, probably not healthy if you get hit a lot. But um, yeah, you're doing exercise to a point where, as in gaming, unless you're playing the Wii, I guess, and that's not even a thing anymore, you're kind of fucked. So take this for an example uh, to Joe Rogan, right? Um, he brings up the jiu-jitsu example, you know, oh, you do your own dojo, you start your own thing. But my count, my counter to him is, okay, well, a lot of uh, streamers now are making lots of money from streaming video games. You got a lot of pro esports competitors. I won't call them necessarily athletes because that's still kind of a murky thing for me. Um, you know, they spend their time playing video games, honing their skill, virtual skill, right, mind you. 
and they win you know hundreds of thousands of dollars some people even win millions right like i think some of the biggest brackets are like that uh league of legends bs or the overwatch crap you know those those guys make tons of bank those pro teams and a lot of these people you know they go to make their own uh their own teams organizations with the promotion stuff like that right so to say that you're kind of wasting time playing the video game to these guys doesn't really make any sense and i don't really think joe rogan thought about that when he brought that that into the conversation now keep in mind um if you're just playing video games and not doing anything else and wasting your time yeah you kind of are not doing anything with your time you could be you know doing something else investing it in something else like learning how to i don't know weld how to code how to fix your car whatever right uh, things that will help you irl or you know help you progress in life in a monetary sense since i think the main idea joe was uh shouting here was that it's not very good for you monetarily, you know, you're not investing your time wisely, you know, it's all about that knowledge in my garage, right guys, that little Ty Lopez meme there for you. But, you know, in my opinion, uh, a lot of people nowadays in gaming are trying to make it big, and unfortunately, I'm gonna have to be that negative Nancy here and say, not all of you are meant to do it, not all of you are cut out to do it. Um, I don't want to see your ch your YouTube channel at 10 subs, spamming useless Fortnite crap with you and your friends, I don't want to see it no one else wants to see it or maybe you know the other five people wants to see it right i don't want to see it personally i don't and i think a lot of my audience members don't want to see that and to the people like uh i don't know uh, with um the streamers too um kind of uh kind of diluting the youtube sphere i think with their channel quality what i see a lot of streamers doing i, I know i'm going off on a little rant here but uh i'll come back to it i'll come back to it um a lot of streamers nowadays, they have a YouTube channel or what they'll do is, hey, I'll build my audience here on YouTube. Then I'll just jump ship and go to Twitch and I'll upload my Twitch highlights here in my uh, my full VODs or whatever, right? Whatever you call those like full length videos after they upload to uh, Twitch. Or they'll be like, hey, you know what? I'm just going to upload live streams on here and my, my highlights, blah, blah, blah. There's no content. There's no good content. It's low effort content in my opinion. They're not producing anything. They're not... Uh, doing a uh, you know a story or anything they're not putting a script together nothing nada not really a lot of high quality there in my opinion I mean you might think it's high quality I personally don't think it is um, and yeah rant over about streamers and their uh, low effort content in my opinion but um, um, anyways yeah going back to Joe Rogan um, Joe buddy I think you're wrong in that aspect 50-50 um, I think learning jujitsu in some ways uh, is a benefit to you self-defense right or it could be detrimental. Uh, detrimental, right? Uh, we're not all going to be uh, opening our own freaking dojos. That's a ridiculous claim. Super ridiculous. And for in order to you to open one is pretty hard. And I think you have a better chance of making money off video games than you do opening a dojo. But anyways, guys, what do you think about the situation? Is Joe Rogan right or is he wrong? Or hey, let's compromise. Maybe I'm right, he's wrong. Or maybe we're both wrong a little bit here, a little bit of there. And boom, we meet in the middle. Thank you as always for watching. Do not forget to stay tuned for more videos, a boxing breakdown, an NAS breakdown, and more rants to come. As always, thank you for watching. I will catch you guys later. What's going on, everybody? How are you guys?